what's up guys it's wildest gameplay and Arsenal just won 3-1 against uh, Olympiacos and it is a result which I did expect uh, most people have been saying that Arsenal will win the game going to trounce the opponents, going to run over them and I have to say if you look at the possession stats we did I mean first half 67% I mean come on we took the lead through Javinio good little piece of uh, good finishing rather uh, the actual build up to the goal was a bit scrappy but you know one of those goals where you know it's good to grind out and get it's one of the it's when you're a top team you need them you need those lucky goals so that was the first goal Dortmund equalized about a minute or two later a header from their tall striker don't ask me what his name is I don't know but it was a good header and we were level just before half time and it really pissed me off just deflated me, deflated the team, deflated everyone, fans are uh, feeling a bit uncomfortable, and as you do, and it was just an un, not very, not a situation which many fans would want to be in, at all, I mean, obviously it's a given, but even more so that you're at home, you should be winning games. Then, the game is going on a bit longer, Arsenal are showing their stuff, their skills, they're really just getting into their flow. And through the hard work of Juvenio and defensive mishaps, reminiscent of FIFA, FIFA defending, uh, Arsenal were able to get the equal, uh, the leading goal. Sorry, Juvenio crossed it. It got tackled back to his feet. He then crossed it again uh, to the centre of the box where Podolski controlled it, came forward, and then smashed it at the goalkeeper. And it went through his legs. Two-one Arsenal, and everyone's buzzing. Everyone's singing the songs, everyone's on hype levels, and it's a good feeling. Over at the City of Manchester Stadium, the Etihad, Man, uh, Man City are drawing. No, they're losing at this point. 1-0. And it's fucking up a lot of people's accumulators, including mine, and fucking up a lot of people's predictions. So, that was going on over there. Over to the Arsenal game, uh, what happens? They take off Podolski, and they take off... Uh, I'm not sure who else they take off, but they bring on uh, Giroud and they bring on Ramsey. And for Arsenal's third goal to make it 3-1, it's a good play. Header on from a long ball from Giroud. He does do that. He's much better at winning headers than Robin Van Persie was. Mm, really does bring people into play. I do feel a bit bad for Shamak, but, you know, it's just Giroud. He's meant to be a goal scorer. But anyway, his header fed on to Ramsey in a, like, a through ball way. He ran onto it, good strength, running against the defender, chips it with the right of his his right boot, uh, and a great third goal to be honest. Made me really happy. Uh, a lot of people knock Ramsey and don't give him the credit that I think he deserves. He's an excellent player. He had a difficult injury, and he's come back and shown what it is to be a professional footballer. Most most people don't come back and play at the level which he is. Captain for Wales, Arsenal player played for uh, Britain in the Olympics and uh, to me I think he is an excellent player so to review Arsenal bouncing back from a loss to Chelsea at the weekend with a win at home again uh, I look forward to our next match hopefully I'll watch it live again you know circumstances might not allow me to but coming up soon still is the United game and I can't wait to see that it's going to be fucking mental it's going to be sick also we play Tottenham really really soon so the whole thing is just coming to a coming to a mash up and there's gonna be some more more games, more stuff, more reviews from me and overall I rate Arsenal's performance in the night a seven because we played well, we had to struggle to get the leading goal and we scored a late goal to settle our settle our nerves, which is what most people would hope for. You know, obviously we could trounce them early and score a lot of goals, but the way things went is still uh, satisfactory. That's satisfactory. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I will be doing more previews and reviews of games. And remember, victory through harmony. Uh, in Arsenal, we trust. He was suspended for this game, but you know it's Wenger, and he's got Steve Bold, so it's always going to be the Arsenal we expect. I don't really see much. Don't imagine there being much of a drastic change for if there's manager not on the bench. But, just as I said, 
Victory through harmony, Victoria Concordia crest it, and in Arsenal we trust. It's been Arsenal, awesome news, and I will see you guys very, very soon.